Hey, what's up dudes? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. How we doing? How you guys doing? Hey, today I want to show you guys some Clan War 3 stars. We haven't done this in a while, and I think it's time. Don't you? Let me make my screen bigger here. So, we've got, oh, a Mass Witch Raid. That's right. We're going to lead off with this Mass Witch Raid, guys, because it's, you know, one of my favorites to watch. And when you see a Mass Witch Raid, it's usually against this base right here. So, don't use this base. No, no, no. Hey, look at this. Also, we got a queen to support with healers on her. Yes, it makes so much sense. Archer, queen, queen, walk, witch, raid. Boom. Three stars. So, let's check out what's going on, guys. Witches are stepping up. The king is leading the way, but he's going to go down that alley. I'm not sure if that's good or bad yet. We'll see you later, though, king. Go die somewhere and, and do your best to, to kill something. So, the witches are stepping into the corner now, looking so good. Stepping up to that first inferno and killing the lava hound at the same time. I love that. They're like multi-purpose killing machines. They're going to step up to the town hall real soon. Queen is looking sick over there on her own. Still full health. It's good that she's on her own because the healers won't get distracted that way. So, witches stepping up with one wizard. Look at that one wizard with him, dude. He's a lucky guy. Looking good. Looking good. He's chilling with a bunch of ladies and he's so well protected because of those skeletons. Look at all those skeletons, dude. They, they're they just dominating because this other Inferno is a level 1 Inferno. Town Hall goes down, and that level 1 Inferno is not really going to do much, is it? No. <laughs> We've talked about this before. Level 1 Infernos. Boo! If you build Infernos, get them max. Do, you know, do yourself a favor. Get them to level 3, or don't build them at all. Anyway, they got a jump spell down for them. Good move. Having a jump spell gets them out of the core really quickly. Queen is right there with them. Witches are just killing it. That wizard steps up and... Oh, oh, wow. The wizard steps up and gets knocked by that bomb. <laughs> Poor guy. I was just talking about how, how sick of a job he was doing, too. Anyway, it's obvious that even without that wizard, uh, we're going to win this one. Yeah. Nice. Well done. That queen is going to survive completely full health. The king died. Where is he? Oh, he's right there, dude. Look at how far the king made it. He made it all the way down that alleyway right there by himself. Yeah, king, you killed it. So, uh, nice. Nice three star. We're going to dedicate this one in memory of that fallen wizard. He did so good, dude. He made it almost through the whole raid and then, uh, had to take that bomb. Had to take that hit for the team, but, uh, rest in peace, buddy. Anyway, on to the next. And next, we're going to check out some Town Hall 9. You guys know how I feel about Town Hall 9 War. It's it's awesome. It's actually my favorite. I love Town Hall 9 hog raids the most. And that's what we got here. We got a golem wizard surgical hog raid. But the golem and wizard part is the most important part. Let me explain why. So look at the, the middle. I almost stuttered there. <laughs> look at the middle of this space. It's this big open box. If he can get his golems and his heroes and his wizards in there, they're going to take out everything. And that's less work for the hogs. Get it? I mean, it's simple. You guys understand that. But think about this. When you see these big open bases, maybe use another golem. You know, if you have high level heroes, you can get into the core and take out everything. And it's less work for the hogs. If you have lower level heroes, maybe not. Maybe you'll have to use more hogs and, and rely on the hogs more. But let's see how he does, man. Dropping a couple of hogs on each defense. Going to save that heal spell until he approaches that first wizard tower. You got to think about wizard towers because they are gnarly. They can kill you. You want to heal around the wizard towers. Anyway, I hate to say it already, but I think the raid is over. I think there is no stopping these guys. Look, a group of hogs is stepping up to the final wizard tower. Heal spell goes down. Queen is still full health. I mean, my God, who could stop these guys? They're just a wrecking crew. So a couple of archers go down around the base to clean up and they're heading for the last defense. And it's about gone. Boom. Boom. It's gone. Okay. See ya. Later. So this guy, Director X right here, real solid Town Hall 9 attacker. He's a max Town Hall 9. You can do some sick things with max heroes. And he's got the skills. So you guys should consider that. If you're uh, working on Town Hall 9 right now, get your heroes maxed and work on getting three stars, you know, consistently because it'll make you into a sick clasher. And you can go to Town Hall 10 and already have the skills. You know what I mean? All right, guys, I guess we got time for one more raid today. Let's check this one out. Uh, we got Toby going in with a one golem, four hound raid. That's, that's kind of different than the two golem, three 
This is making me dizzy, all these hand signals. Anyway, the point of this raid is just go in with the golem and take out the queen. That's basically your only goal. You might take out one air defense while you're there. You might take out the clan castle while you're there. But really, this is your goal. Go in and kill and then peace. Your air troops are going to do most of the work, right? Because you have more hounds than you normally would. Also, Toby has three free spells. So we can get through those infernos like nothing. This is going to be sick. This is really enjoyable raid to watch. This is kind of an old school raid for me. This is kind of a, one of the first three star strategies I ever learned was the one golem four hound raid. Like back when hounds first came out like a while ago. So, hey queen, how you doing? You're going to die soon, but man, you killed it, dude. She really exceeded expectations there. Took out a whole corner of the base. And here go the air troops. Check this out. Two hounds on each air defense. That is going to cover so well for those balloons. And those balloons are just going to slowly creep through the base. Tons of spells. He's got a, a couple of haste, couple of rage, and a ton of freeze spells. Look at that freeze. Beautiful. Taking out a bunch of defenses all at once. The balloons come up and boom, take them out. And that's it, man. I hate to say that's it already, but that is it. This base is going down so fast. Good job, Toby, man. Really good hit here. So the balloons are creeping up to the top. Only a couple key defenses left. One air defense and boom, it's going down. Uh, last wizard tower going down as well. There's an air sweeper kind of being pesky right there, but it's about to go down as well. Ton of cleanup troops around the base. Killed it. Yeah. So in 30 seconds, roughly 30 seconds, this base is going to be down. Nice. Good job, buddy. So, uh, that's it, guys. Toby killed it. Everybody who we showed today killed it. Good job, guys. Uh, who did we show? Director X and AJ in the beginning. Good job, guys. Nice three stars. I like how we got a little combination of all different kinds of raids today. That was, that was fun. So, I love showing three stars, guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Well, that's it for today, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.